Hello guys, Wag D Bike Rider here, and today I have a video on how to turn your Briggs & Stratton Intec 900 series into a Briggs & Stratton animal racing engine, or more or less to make your cheap Intec run faster and harder. This is going to go in a mini bike here, I actually had it in a mini bike at its stock configuration, but I got a couple parts and as well a uh, actual animal block here so I can show you all of the similarities and exactly what you need to do in order to make your engine run just as fast as an actual racing Briggs & Stratton animal. This here is the block off of an animal. The only difference between the blocks is that the stock one underneath this plate right here, I'll show you right there it is, is the uh, governor screw. And I what I did is I took all the top plate off and took all the governor off, threaded the hole with a 5 16 national fine, put a bolt in from the bottom side, and this plate up on top, this is the controlled plate, or control plate from uh, the animal. And you mount that up on top and it's covered, it's sealed, nothing's gonna get in, you don't have a governor. Other differences, the uh, crankshaft on the animal has an actual roller bearing while as on the uh, Intec, it has just a sleeve, so it's just a hole. There's not going to be any kind of special roller bearing in there, and therefore you're not going to get as much life out of the Intec as you will out of the racing engine here. And also these bearings are replaceable. If you take this sump out, there's going to be a bearing right here. You can pop it out and put a new one in if it gets worn. This you can't do because it's just a uh, machine surface. So when it gets worn, you have to get a new block which in that case, you can get one of these for about 250 bucks. And it comes with the animal cam and the roller bearings in there. Other differences, this is gonna come with a really crappy cam. I actually have it over here. This is the cam that comes in the Intec. It's plastic. Um, that's not gonna last long for you. You're gonna get a lot of wear. Also, it's not that hot of a cam. So, what I have thrown in this is already the, uh, it's an animal stock cam. Um, FasterMotors.net sells it, uh, also Rickens Racing, that's where I got this block from here, but uh, yeah, not too expensive, throw a cam in it. If you throw a cam in it, you also have to replace the valve springs. Valve springs, I have stock ones laying around here somewhere, I just took them out. Eh, no, here. These are pretty wimpy, they're not very strong. The animal springs are a lot stronger, it prevents the valves from floating when you're at a higher RPM because your governor is removed. Therefore, you have all of the fuel put into the engine and all of the fuel extracted instead of the valves not fully closing and you get some backfire, you don't get full compression. Not a good situation. You put some stronger springs in, they're like $3. Um, the head, this is an animal head. Uh, is actually identical to that of the Intec, and I don't know how much you can really see here. I'm gonna spin this around, but uh, that's the uh, stock one. This is basically the exact same part, and I, I took it over and looked at it, and the dimensions are even identical. This is the exact same width of a piston here. I have a, a digital caliper I was measuring it with, 2.68, I believe. Um, yeah, open this up here. So, let's see what we got. 2.68, yeah. So, that's what the uh, animal racing engine is, and it was the exact same on this engine. I'm obviously have it all together, so I'm not going to take it apart and measure for it here. But, it was also 2.68, something I was really looking into when I was, you know, trying to science all this out. Um, other differences, the animal's got a better piston. This is a machined piston, whereas this has got a machined cast piston. This is like a billet piston on the animal. So your uh, connecting rod, the gap between the connecting rod where it connects to the piston, the piston pin is back in here, is slightly wider on the animal and it allows you to put better aftermarket pistons in, such as an arc racing connecting rod. And that's a big problem with the Intec, the stock connecting rod's a weak point. So when you rev it higher, that connecting rod's gonna shatter. 
So you wanna get a better connecting rod so you can rev it higher and not shatter the connecting rod, which means you also have to get a better piston so that way you can put the better connecting rod in it. All of these parts are available on those two websites I listed earlier. Um, piston, standard pistons, the exact same size on the animal and on the, uh, on the Intec. At, I think that's like 60 bucks. Connecting rod, roughly 60 bucks to get a nice billet aluminum connecting rod. Um, I've got one up in this box here, I just haven't put it in. Um, the cam, I think was roughly $40. The valve springs are like $2 a piece. Um, I'm trying to think there's anything else you need to do this conversion. Uh, oh, carburetor. The stock carburetor on the Intec is really garbage, it's not adjustable. This is going to get you a lot better fuel. I threw an actual K&N on it, however you can get a lot cheaper filters out there than that. I just wanted it because of the cleanability and I'm going to be running this thing out and around in dirty areas and don't want to keep throwing a bunch of filters on. Plus, you know, you got K&N on there. Looks cool. So, this the uh, exact carburetor will mount right up because they use the exact same head. And there's a spacer you need in order to mount it. The spacer right here is like 10 bucks. This whole combo is like 130. Uh, also, other thing you're gonna need. This right here is the flywheel. This is a billet aluminum fly. I don't know if it's aluminum. It's billet though. It's all machined out. This thing's PVL, I guess, is what they call it. Definitely need that stock flywheel on this, which is currently installed. Will not be able to withhold the RPMs that this can. And if you shatter your flywheel during a high rev. It's not good, you're gonna blow pieces of uh, cast iron around. You don't want that. So, flywheel. When you got a flywheel, you also want a better ignition. PVL ignition. This whole kit you can get for, I don't know, 140 bucks. End of the day, you're starting to think, you got a lot of money in these two. Well, you're right. You have $140 in your ignition setup. You got $150 in your carburetor setup. On the internals of the engine, you've got a connecting rod and a piston, as well as a cam and valve springs. So that's roughly $200. It's going to cost you maybe $500 to do this whole upgrade. But when you're done, you're going to have an engine that's stronger and better revving than the stock animal engine. Because this is not on the stock, this is on the world formula. This is better than the, uh, the animal. Also, you're going to have the connecting rod that connecting rod up in this box here, the Arc Racing, I forget, it was the modified one, not the Enduro, it's the, the heavier duty one. And that's that's much better than the stock one on the Animal. And it's never gonna break, it's billet aluminum, it's really thin, it's, or it's, it's thick, but it's lightweight because of the aluminum. Um, the heads are identical, so you're not gonna notice a problem with that. Carburetor's gonna throw tons of fuel in. If you want, you can get an exhaust pipe, I've got a, uh, curved exhaust pipe down there. This is going on a mini bike, yes. And uh, bam, that's all it takes. These engines are basically identical. The difference being really that this has got a uh, roller bearing in the block and no governor. That's really the only difference between the animal block and the Briggs and Stratton local option, or not the, uh, let's see, the Intec 900 series. They call this the local option 206, and they call this a 205 cc. But if you look in the specifications, this is actually a 205 cc as well. And from my measurements, I've been finding out that they are identical in almost every way. This has just got better bearings in here. No governor. Um, and you know, this the side plate is a little different. There's no cutouts and stuff in here, but there's still the same mounting points and they're all the same distances away from each other so everything mounts up and you still have the breather bypass you can plug into here bam plug it in here um, I mean these engines are really identical if you have any other questions you want to see more about me uh, building these engines out put comments in below and thanks for watching I hope you have fun building out your Briggs and Stratton Intec upgrading it to an animal.